Michael McFadden with Big Purple Couch. We're here today with Wolfgang Gartner. So excited to have you here. I've heard it through the grapevine that you wanted to DJ naked tonight. How much truth is there to that? Uh, there's absolutely no truth in that. I would never DJ naked. I was That was never a consideration whatsoever. I was just bored and on Twitter. Okay. Yeah. Um, since becoming a DJ, what has been your ultimate experience, whether it be fan, whether it be personal, like just your ultimate wow moment? Uh, my ultimate wow moment, it's, it's really hard to answer a type of question like that and narrow it down to one single moment. Um, I think if I had to, like, the two that stick out in my mind are, are the New Year's gigs. Like, both, both this past New Year's and the New Year's before that, I closed the stage. Before that was... Uh, Together as one in LA, which was like I closed the main stage, and that was like it was an out of body experience, seriously. And then this last year, there was a, a massive in Dallas called Lights All Night, and I closed the main stage on that one too. And it was just to to ring in a new year and all the emotion that's associated with people, and everybody's like, there's it's there's just magical shit going on, you know. In your bio on your website, it says it's your responsibility to advance the genre of house music. What's your, what would you improve in yourself? Like, what's your ultimate improvement in yourself in order to achieve that goal? I mean, I feel like that's my mindset when I make music is that it's my responsibility to advance the genre of house music. And that's kind of what keeps me trying to like push forward and not regurgitate old ideas. Um, what keeps me doing that? There's a balance between doing new and unique things, but making it palatable and digestible by the masses so that it's somewhere between just far out enough, but just understandable enough to where it pushes the boundaries, but people can still get into it. And that's a really hard line to find and a really hard line to like stay on. And that's, that's basically what I try and do, you know? After playing a show, you got to be so amped, like jacked up. What's your after-show ritual? Uh, I usually just go back to the hotel, get online, do emails. I usually, my mind is like going really fast, so I like write a lot of emails to my management about ideas and stuff, and sometimes shop for music, um, and I watch TV and go to sleep. That's it. Boring. <laughs> um, okay, and finally, what would you tell someone, I mean, you've made your life house music, what would you tell someone who's not really into it yet, hasn't experienced it, and like wants to get into it? Wants to get into it? Um, I think in order to want to get into house music, you have to have first heard it and heard something within it that you liked that, that made you interested. And I think once that happens, I mean, the rest kind of takes care of itself. That's how it was for me. I mean, once you hear it, if you hear if you hear music that you like and you're in that stage of your life where you're still developing your taste, you go after it and you go find it and you go find the parties or find places that you can hear it. So it just kind of, it's a natural cycle, you know? Okay. Why do you love it so much? Why do I love it so much? I don't know. It's, I mean, this is all I've known since I was like 11 years old. This is all I've done. It's like my, it's my being, you know? It's like who I am, which is a good thing and a bad thing because there is no separation between music and me. It's just, it's all one thing, you know? Well, thank you so much for being with, with us here. Um, I'm Nicole McFadden with Big Purple Cat.